We're starting a new chapter now where I'm going to show you some more text techniques that you can use when working with text in your AutoCAD drawings. We've got a new drawing for you. It's called usingtext.dwg. And as usual, you can download it from the library to follow along with the videos. Now, if you've already done the learning AutoCAD course from the library, you'll know all about text, single line text, multi-line text, and text styles. I'm not going to cover that in this particular chapter. So if you do want to know how to create new text in your drawings, you need to go and have a look at the learning AutoCAD course. What we're doing here is looking at different text techniques that allow you to work with your text in your drawings. So you'll notice that we are on the text layer in the layers panel on the home tab on the ribbon. Always put your text in the model space on its own layer or layers. That way you can switch them off and on, freeze them if you need to, etc. It's a good CAD practice to get into. You'll notice some red text is placed on the drawing already. We're going to zoom into our little hot desking area that we created in previous videos. And you can see that we've got some text in place already. It just doesn't look that neat or tidy. It just looks like it's kind of been dropped there and hasn't really been refined. So let's look at hot desk area here. Now you'll notice if I click on one of these, it is a piece of single line text. It's not multi-line text. So if we want to change the justification perhaps of this text, what we need to do is select one and two like that. We can then right click and go to properties on the shortcut menu and we've got our properties palette. Now I'm going to move that there so that you can see any changes you make to this particular set of single line text on the screen. So I will use the slider bar now and there's the text area in the properties and you can see at the moment that the justification is middle center for both of those pieces of single line text. You can see there's two there, two pieces of text. I'm going to change that justification there to middle left and you can see them update automatically like so. Now the benefit you have is when you close the properties palette they remain selected. So we can now just right click, select move on the shortcut menu, pick a point on the text, doesn't matter where, and I'm just going to align that with the wall over here, sort of roughly in the middle like that. It just looks neater. It gives you more scope to add perhaps dimensioning or anything in the drawing over here as well. Let's have a look now at the reception area. Again, two pieces of single line text. I'll select both of them, one and two. And it's a right click, the same workflow to properties on the shortcut menu. I'll move it over this way this time so we can see the changes that we're making into the text part of the properties palette. And the justification again is middle center. I'm going to change that this time to middle right. And you'll see it update accordingly. Close the properties palette. And again, right click, same workflow, move again, pick a point on the text. And I'm just going to place that towards the window there and clip like so. So when you zoom out slightly now, you can see that just looks neater and tidier purely by aligning the text, utilizing the justification tools that are available. Let's jump over here now to the reception area. We've got a nice big piece of text there in the entrance area. Now, if I select that, you can see it's multi-line text. I'll zoom in a bit so that we can see it a bit more clearly. And what I can do there is if I double click on it now with it selected, I can now edit the text if I want to. So if you want to edit multi-line text, select it, double click on it. Then the text editor pops up on the ribbon, the contextual tab. I'm going to highlight all of the text. And now with it highlighted, I can go up to the paragraph panel, hit the justification fly out, similar to the single line text, but I want it middle centered like so. And then I can either close the text editor here, even quicker, just click away from the text, job done. And I've edited that bit of multi-line text. Now, the nice thing about multi-line text, I'll click on it once. Because it's middle centered now, I've got a middle grip. I can click on the grip and I can just position that more central in the entrance area like so. I'll hit escape a couple of times, zoom out, and it just looks neater in the middle of the entrance area like that. Again, I haven't been dramatically accurate 
with the locations of the text. I would leave that up to you. You might have specific points, specific sort of boundaries away from walls and objects that you might want to specify for your text. But you can see how by utilizing these justification tools, you can make the text look a lot cleaner and clearer in your AutoCAD drawings.